Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new ColourPop Luxe Lipstick Formula, the Velvet Blur. I have all 16 shades here to review for you guys and to swatch and test out. I have been trying these guys out testing the formula for the past couple of days, really wearing it for the whole day, seeing how I feel about it. So I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. I'll show you guys some comparisons to some old shades from the Luxe Lipstick family. I will just be giving you all the details that you need to know about this new formula. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of that, then just continue watching. So just a little bit of product info. You can get this whole collection, all 16 new Luxe Lipsticks for 100 US dollars. You do save $12 if you do it that way but if you just want to get them individually obviously you can and you can get it for seven US dollars like I mentioned this is a new formula to the Lux lipstick family we previously have the creme finish which is like the original and then I believe last year July they launched the matte finish so now in total we have three finishes of Lux lipsticks if you guys are curious I am wearing the shade lucky strike on my lips right now so just jumping straight in to my review this feels super lightweight it feels very hydrating when you apply it it does have that similar vibe like the luxe lipstick vibe where it's very hydrating very creamy but it's not as creamy and thick as the creme finish or the matte finish it's a little bit more I guess powdery in a sense and I feel like that's where the blur aspect comes from where it's just a little bit more powdery it gives you that blur effect but I personally don't find it drying I actually feel like it's very comfortable to wear yesterday I wore it for the whole day after swatching all 16 so yesterday I swatched all 16 on my lips and then I wore one of them out for the whole day and just tested it out and just to see how long it would last on my lips and I'll talk about it a little bit later on I saw a comment from one of you guys saying that you didn't like the formula because it feels very powdery and very drying on your lips and I can see where that is coming from if you guys are a fan of the ultra blotter lip or the blotter lip formula it's something very similar to that mixed in with the matte luxe lipstick it's so strange it has a bit of everything in it but personally for me I think I like this formula the best this one then the creme and then the matte I just like the effect that it has on your lips and the way you apply this it's gonna give you a different vibe and feel so the way I see that Colourpop is kind of branding this lipstick is for you to kind of just apply a little bit onto the center of your lips and then blot it out very similar to the ultra blotter matte or the blotter lips the blotter lips i feel like are under the bus no one actually ever talks about it they don't have many shades this one is from the alexis ren collection but it's very similar to that but i feel like the blotter lip is a little bit more less opaque not as pigmented you really gotta build it up a little bit i feel like it feels very similar on the lips like that feeling okay i think the best way to describe it is kind of like the blotter lip mixed with the luxe matte lip together and then you get the velvet blur you get the effect of a blotter lip but you get the feeling of a luxe lipstick if that makes any sense at all it's just so hard to describe I'm not very good at describing things but that is just the best way I can describe the formula and how it feels on the lips but depending on how you apply it you will get different finishes from it to me this is a very very buildable product and I think that is great because you are kind of getting like a two-in-one in one product you can apply a very light layer blot it out with your finger and you get that natural finish like blotted lip that's what I did today for my lips that's why it's not as pigmented but you can go in with another layer and build it up and then it will kind of look more like a actual just luxe lipstick so depending on how you apply it is gonna depend on the finish of it so I think that's personally cool gives you a whole complete different vibe when you apply it differently like I mentioned before I did wear this out for the whole day yesterday and I want to put the photos that I took of the chickens that I did it actually lasted me pretty long usually lipsticks don't last on my lips that long because when I eat I tend to wipe my mouth a lot and everything kind of rubs off but you can see it really clinged onto my lips and kind of had that little tint wash of color over my lips and just gave it a little bit of warmth and surprisingly at the end of the day I still liked how it looked I didn't touch it up or anything like that I didn't apply lip balm on top of it and you can see my lips don't look too dry and keep in mind before I did that chicken my first chicken I just watched all 16 but it didn't feel like it was cracking or was sensitive or was dry so the formula to me is actually really 
great. I think it just depends on what you personally like. If you don't like the Ultra Blotter Lips or the Blotter Lips, then I don't think you're gonna like this. You might feel like it's a little bit too powdery. But if you do like the Ultra Blotter Lips or the Blotter Lips like me, then I think you will actually like it. It just really depends on you. Everyone's a little bit different. Now talking about the shades, when I first saw the whole campaign and the launch for this, I actually thought a lot of the shades looked very similar to the first launch. But now that I have everything here and I've swatched and compared everything, a lot of them are just comparable shades and a lot of them aren't dupes. So that is great, you are getting a new variety of new shades from the Lux Lipstick Formula and if there are dupes in this new formula, I also don't think that's a bad thing because you might like this formula and you might hate the creme formula but if there's a dupe from this formula to the creme, you now have that same colour in a different formula that you actually like. As always with my reviews, it always depends on you guys and your preference, my preference is my own. I just kind of want to talk about each individual shade and how I feel about them. For the most part it is consistent. A lot of the shades do work very nicely but there is a couple in there that I just want to mention and I also want to talk about the dupes slash comparisons as well. So the first shade that let's talk about is Hey Mr. DJ. This is described on Colourpop's website to be a soft petal pink and the comparisons that I have for the shade is Layover, Electric Feel and Aerial. As you guys know Layover is my holy grail Lux lipstick formula and it's funny because when I first saw Hey Mr. DJ I knew this was going to be my favourite colour out of the bunch and obviously it is because it is a little bit similar to Layover. I feel like Hey Mr. DJ is a little bit more pink and a little bit more brighter. We then move on to Electric Fuel which is a matte formula and if you are familiar with my channel Electric Fuel is also another favorite of mine. I feel like this is probably a little bit more closer. It's just not as pink and not as bright as Hey Mr. DJ. And then lastly we have Ariel. Again it's the same amount of pinkiness but it's just not as bright as Hey Mr. DJ. And then we move on to Creme Finish. This is described to be a soft coral orange. I actually didn't find any comparable shades to this. I think it is actually pretty unique. I didn't see that Colourpop has such a coral orangey nude. Couldn't find a comparison for that but it's a really pretty pretty colour. Next we have Sphinx. I'm probably saying that one wrong, but this is described to be a bubblegum pink. And for my comparable shades, I have Name Drop, which is probably a little bit more closer. I feel like it's just not as bubblegum. And then lastly, I have Money Side Up. Money Side Up is definitely a lot more like purpley pink. Next we have is Mesmerize. This is described to be a warm rose and my comparable shade is Belle which is in the creme finish. You can obviously see that Belle is a lot more darker but I feel like that underbase, that rosy underbase is there and it's a bit similar. Next up we have 21 Questions which is described to be a burnt orange red and for my comparable shades I have Foolish which is in the creme finish and also better off. These are a little bit more similar. Maybe better off is a little bit more closer to a dupe than a comparable shade but I personally feel like they aren't exactly the same but for this one I feel like it's a little bit more similar than the rest that I have shown you. And then we have a Lucky Strike which is again the lip color that I'm wearing today. This is described to be a mauve pink and for my comparable shades I have Little Leak which is in the matte formula. Obviously it's a lot more darker than Lucky Strike and then I I have Still Crazy which is in their creme finish. Still Crazy is just a little bit more I guess purple. It has a little bit more purple underbase in there. Moving along we have Y2K which is described to be a mauve brown and for my comparable shade I took Come On Sis which is in their creme finish. I feel like Y2K is a little bit more mauve and come on sis is a little bit more pinky rosy. Next up we have CA Love which is described to be a reddish taupe brown and my dupes for this is Money Moves which is a matte formula and LA Lady which these two shades are one of my favorite luxe lipstick shades. LA Lady is a little bit more closer to CA Love but 
Again, just very different. I think the underbase is similar, but just the darkness and lightest is a little bit different. Then we have Vignette, and this is described to be a rich brown. I did find this one to be a little bit patchy compared to the rest, so just keep that one in mind. But most of the time, usually with darker shades, it is a little bit more patchy and harder to get right. So I wasn't too surprised when this came out a little bit patchy on my lips. And my comparable shade is Chocolatier in the Creme finish. I feel like chocolate here is a little bit more more brown, a little bit more vibrant. We now have Alchemist, which is described to be a rich black berry. For this one, I don't know why. I might be crazy. I feel like it smells a little bit different from the rest. And this one also came out a little bit patchy on me as well. But again, it's one of the darkest shades in this launch. So usually with darker shades, it does come off a little bit patchy. So just keep that in mind. But for the shade that I wanted to compare it to is Shashay, just so you can see the difference of the berry tone. Very, very different, just so you guys can get a general idea of what this looks like. We now have Super Bloom, which is described to be a bright pinky red. And for my comparable shade, I decided to swatch it next to New Wave, which is the matte formula. Super Bloom is a little bit more brighter, a bit more coral pink, whereas New Wave is a little bit more just a hot pink. I really do like the names of these Luxe lipsticks, by the way. They named it after a lot of songs, but Solo is described to be a blue red and I couldn't find like a dupe close enough to this. I feel like the reds in the Luxe Lipstick family is not as blue red as this. Moving along to All Tea. This one is described to be a hot pink and the comparable shade I have is Jasmine which is in the creme finish. And you can see Jasmine is a little bit more brighter. All Tea is a little bit more muted. Now we have K Bop and this is described to be a bright orange and for my comparable shade I have is Get A Room in the creme finish. And now we have Sorry Not Sorry which is described to be a bright violet. To me this one was not as opaque as the rest. You can definitely see your lip color underneath and it definitely was a little bit more patchy. I just wanted to swatch it next to Cheetah and Cinderella so you could just see the difference in the kind of violet purple. And lastly for our last shade I have Fake Love which is described to be a bright blue pink and the shade that I want to swatch it next to is Humble Pie. So that was me just breaking down all the shades showing you guys what they are like and if I saw any inconsistencies with the shades so obviously there was a couple in there that were but now I want to share with you my favorite shades out of the bunch so I have six favorites that I feel like are great for everyday wear it's the shades that I can see myself wearing most of the time so my first favorite is obviously Hey Mr. DJ I just knew off the bat that was gonna be my favorite second one is Crim Finish 21 Questions CA Love Super Bloom and K Bob. Those are my favorite shades and the shades that I personally would recommend and just the shades that I see myself wearing the most. So definitely just personal preference, but if you wanted my recommendations, those are my recommendations. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my video for today. In conclusion, I'm really impressed by the new formula. I like it. I don't think it's a bad formula at all, but I really do think it just depends on your personal preference because I know a lot of people don't like the ultra blood lip, so it really just depends on you. So just keep that in mind. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful with all the comparable shades and the swatches. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me if you guys did find it helpful. As always, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And with that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!